Some are asking, is Apple taking a big step tonight toward killing the credit card? Signs like these popping up in grocery stores, retailers across the country, what's called Apple Pay, and it's now here. As you might remember, we were backstage with CEO Tim Cook for that exclusive looking at the Apple Watch the same day they revealed Apple Pay. Tonight here, how did it all work and is it secure? We asked ABC's chief business correspondent Rebecca Jarvis to give it a test run. Tonight, Apple hoping you'll never reach for your wallet again. And instead, as we showed you here in an exclusive just weeks ago, a brand new way to pay. Tim Cook is going to walk onto that stage and kill the credit card. <laughs> Did you? I think that we uh, put a dagger in it. How long before this really becomes mainstream? It's going to be mainstream today. Eddie Q is the man in charge of Apple Pay. He showed us how it works. All you need is an iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. Just place your finger on the iPhone home button and hold it up to the receiver. Rather than sending your credit card number, your phone generates a unique one-time payment number just for that transaction. The sale is then processed just like any other credit card swipe, going to your bank and appearing on your statement. It's that simple. Scale of 1 to 10, how much more secure is Apple Pay than using a credit card? It's significantly more secure. There's nothing in that process that's not better than actually using a plastic card. All right, let's try it. Approved. I'm surprised. And there you have it, 3082 Whole Foods Cupertino. And tonight, Apple Pay is available in 220,000 stores, but Apple is thinking so much bigger here. They want to be everywhere, and they want that phone to be everything, your driver's license, your receipts, whatever you carry in that wallet, David. They want it to go into the phone, just like they did with the music industry. They want to revolutionize this.